Actor Mark Ruffalo slamming capitalism, the very same system that made him an estimated $30 million. Ruffalo tweeting out, quote, it's time for an economic revolution. Capitalism today is failing us, killing us, and robbing from our children's future, end quote. Well, now our own Carol Roth firing back saying, quote, if you hate capitalism, you hate freedom, period. Ruffalo earned millions for the latest Marvel movie alone. So, Carol, make your case. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, that's what it is. There's such a misunderstanding of what capitalism is. And bottom line is it's freedom. And if you say that you hate it, you hate freedom. It is people making, millions of people, making free choices of their own free will. And that's how economic resources get allocated. Instead of a couple of people making decisions on behalf of millions of people using power and control and force. And the challenge that we have, David, is that we do have so much government interference in our system currently. We have government intervention. We have cronyism. So people get very confused about what capitalism is. But the solution, the economic revolution that we need is more capitalism, not less capitalism and more power and control. Sounds good. I, I agree with about capitalism. That to me, that is the reason that so many people have come out of global poverty. That is the reason that so many emerging markets have become middle class markets. Mr. Ruffalo does not believe this, though. Mr. Ruffalo has endorsed Bernie Sanders. He's endorsed Jeremy Corbyn. But that does not mean he hates freedom. That does not mean he hates America. That does not mean that he's a communist. Too many times. No, but it, it does he, mean that he, if, he, if, he times, if he says that, John, if he says too, it means he hates economic too, freedom. Too many times when we disagree with somebody, we want to paint them in such a light as they're something bad. And well, there's sometimes well, people just sometimes people just have a disagreement with us. That does not mean they hate America. They hate freedom. They're not a communist. That means they have a disagreement well, with let me, us. John, let me tell you something about Mark Ruffalo. He is not an intellectual. He is just a pretty face. I mean, that's all he is. He's, he's an actor with an opinion. But in this case, it is the he's wrong He's a great opinion. actor. Well, it, but he's certainly wrong in economics. And Carol hit the nail on the head. I agree Look, that. It, Anywhere capitalism has been practiced, it has brought millions of people out of poverty to the extent that it's been capitalist, whether it's Hong Kong versus China, North Korea versus South Korea, Cuba versus Miami. If you care about the poor, you should be a huge advocate for capitalism and free markets. Okay, well, for, I don't know Ruffalo that well, but I don't think we should just call him a pretty face because I'm sure you don't know him that well either, Jonathan. I, but I, I've heard I enough. think we should talk about reforming capitalism or the fact that capitalism could be considered rigged. You have weakened competition, mergers and acquisitions happening left and right, feeble productivity growth. You're seeing, unfortunately, inequality still exists, despite, David, you mentioning how many people have come out of poverty, and you have degraded democracy across the globe. So I think that these are things that need to be concerned. And a case in point, Apple, for example, the fact that it lobbied the government, you know, had this bromance dinner yeah. with the president, but was able to be to get those tariffs reduced out of, what, 15 out of, so, or 10 out so, of the 15 that it requested. Is that fair? So here, so this, you are proving my point, Christina, is that yes. you actually don't understand what capitalism is. Excuse and that me? is my point, is that at, and this is not a, a, uh, a, an indictment of anybody personally. It literally is free choice. That is all it is. It's people coming to their own free choice and will and participating in the system without force and, and control and concentrated power. And that is it. Everything you're talking about is on the spectrum towards that power and control and cronyism. It's not capitalism. We need more yeah, capitalism. So you can call it cronyism or you yeah, can also cronyism, call it course, rigged capitalism. It's just a choice of words, but the points I've laid out are clearly <laughs> issues that we're cr seeing in our well, society today. Well, it's, it's cronyism. So I it's think not I do capitalism, understand the term Carol capitalism. Said, but, but, Christine, I'll actually address your other point about income inequality. You, you talk about it a lot. A lot of the Democrats' candidates do as well. Income inequality, it's actually a feature of capitalism. It's not a <laughs> I'm bug. Not, I'm not It's the benefit that. of capitalism. I mean, the of fact course. that, you know, Bill Gates made a zillion dollars. That's wonderful because he benefited us all in the process. So income yeah, inequality, it, that dog don't it, hunt. Inequality is an important measure in terms of the eyes of the law and justice. It is a irrelevant measure when it comes to wealth because people have free choice to make. <laughs>